Eric Levy here, as you can obviously see, you're watching another episode, EML 77 TV, episode 391. How's everyone going to, going, doing today? We're in November 11th, Veterans Day. I want to take this time to thank all the men and women who have served and are continuing to serve in our military. I have a couple of brothers, uh, Mike, who has served. Thank you for your service, and I have a... Uh, another brother who is in the air uh, reserve in the Air Force, and that would be my brother Tyler. Thank you for your service. And, and I have friends who have served or continuing to serve in the military. Thank you so much. An honor to call you friends. And uh, and to those family members who have served, who have who have served or continue to serve, uh, I'm honored to call you. I'm proud to call you a family member. And um, I know there's a lot of folks out there. Who, are uh, moving on from the mil military life. I want to say thank you for your service. I really do appreciate that. If it had not for these, for these great people who basically made this big sacrifice, we wouldn't have the country that we have today. I know there's a craziness going on. Um, that's why I screw politics, but you know what? That's, uh, that's not a here nor there for me. But however, thank you and happy v Veterans Day. You guys should be celebrated and with honor. And um, another thing I want to do is congratulate the Dartmouth High School uh, Band and Color Guard. Uh, congr they've become the national champions for a fourth time in the, in their division. I want to say thank you. Uh, I want to say congratulations. I have friends who, who whose kids go to Dartmouth High. I want to say congratulations. Be proud, and and keep going. Go Dartmouth High, and. Uh, Local people got to respect local people. That's how I am. Well, it's 7.30. We'll be half an hour to Raw. And how am I doing? Well, too many crazy things have happened. My exhaust came out last month. Got Finally got that fixed. But just as soon as I got that fixed, the muffler started coming off. And I'm like, oh, joy. So I had to drive all the way home, and I had to drive the long way home because unfortunately, Hathaway Road was being paved up and being done up, being being you know given been given a huge makeover, so to speak, and so we couldn't go down that. It was right after the town line of the Bedford in Dartmouth. So, so unfortunately, <clears throat> so unfortunately, so I couldn't go that way. So I had to go a different way. So I had to drive up Route 6, dragging the stinking muffler. I had to drive real slow because I don't want to go. I didn't want to drive real. I didn't want to drive too fast because I don't want that muffler flying off and hitting another car, and I get in trouble for it. So it's like I'm trying to drive, like, huh. and everybody's kind of, kind of probably kind of look at me funny, and I said, I know my muffler is dragging. I'm trying to get it home. So my, you know, as soon as I drove it down my street, my my sister and my father could hear it. So it's like a oh, good thing good thing it's still on there when I got home, man. So but that eventually got fixed today, so thank God for that. Um Let's see, what else is what else has been going on? Uh well the um, upcoming episodes, of course, obviously we are about a couple of weeks, a week from this Sunday away till Survivor Series, and a week from this Saturday until NXT TakeOver War Games 2019. I will make my PTW Wrestling predictions on that, if I can. Um, I, uh, and I think due to everything going on in the holiday season and everything else, um, to... To Jordan Little, I you know I'm sorry to say this, but I'm not going to be attending his little wrestling rants and rave show. I'll give my own reviews on that. It's because of everything going on, uh, because of my job and everything else. I'm trying to uh, take a break from everything else on the internet, from uh, going on the Discord at, uh, channel, going to Discord. Um, I'm trying. I'm going to do my thing for right now until after the holiday season's over. It's because I don't want to get too much stress on me to the point where everything is going on and everything is happening. And it's like, because what if, um, you know, bad weather comes around and I have to stay at the mall and, you know, shovel snow. And 
I'm kind of hoping that doesn't happen, but you know, I'm trying to keep my bases cle um, bases um, cleared up just in case, so to speak. You know, cover my bases, so to speak. So I will not be going on um, the Discord app for um, some games like YouTube games and entertainment. I will not be going on Jordan Little's uh, thing. I'm making that announcement right now. I do apologize to everyone else out there, uh, but because. Like I said, the holiday stress can really can get to a guy like me, especially at my age. So it's uh, one of those things where I have to be very, very careful on what to do and what to say, and all that. So I'll be do I'll still do my thing here on YouTube. It's it's like I don't want you know I don't want everything I don't want to add too much. You know what I'm saying? Uh, because a lot going on, a lot of craziness happening, everything else. And I'm also going to announce this since it is okay. Uh, my sister finally posted it. Um, my sister Jewel is having another baby, and we're gonna have, and they're gonna have um, um, her, her and my brother-in-law Jesse. They're gonna have a baby boy. I believe the name, if I'm not mistaken, um, let me just uh, just go back here for just a second. And uh, I, she posted on Facebook, so I figured I'd say something about it. So, and um, let's see. Uh, let me go, you know, I did announce it on Facebook, so, let me, um, uh, John Joseph Alexander will be arriving May 2020, so, that's right, John Joseph Alexander is the name of my nephew-to-be, he will be arriving in May of 2020, so that means I'm, a got a quote Booker T a five time, five time, five time, five time, five time uncle. Yes, sir. Can't wait. Can't wait to meet the little nephew. Can't wait to meet the nephew. So my sister and my, my two of my sisters, um, June and Cora both have two kids each, um, a boy and a girl. So that's good. And my, my and my brother and sister-in-law, Michael and Ailey, have a daughter. So, so this is pretty good. Five, five. So I got three nieces and two nephews. I'm really, really happy about that. So I'm really excited about it. So can't wait. The whole John Joseph Alexander JJ. <laughs> Dynamite. <laughs> Great. I'm going to come up with these jokes and I'm going to be in trouble. I'm a bad uncle. Um, <laughs> my own niece talks to me in caveman. Mm, mm, mm. Every time she looks at me. Mm, mm. <laughs> you trying to speak my language? <laughs> oh, man. I... And forgive all the laughter and goofiness out outside my room. Uh, my two sisters, they don't want to get embarrassed by the rest of the siblings and my parents, so they decided to come down to cellar and talk, talk with their friends on on the phone. And um, and uh, <laughs> I'm trying to concentrate doing this video while they're yakking out there, for God's sakes. So I just shut up already. <laughs> Thank God I don't have a girlfriend to talk to right now. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is cracks me up. So, yeah, lots of craziness happening in this family. Lots of uh, total insanity as usual. This is this is my this is my family. You know, we're born insane. I'm gonna tell you, it's but it's fun. It's a it's a good insane, not a bad insane. It's a good insane, good positive vibes. Just having fun. Just yeesh. You know, I'm really excited. So it's like. So yeah, NXT is continuing to take over the, the Raw and SmackDown. In fact, um, Raw, um, the Undisputed Era showed up, and then Dominic Dijakovic and uh, Damian Priest, and everybody started fighting and brawling. That's last Monday Night Raw. It's past Friday Night SmackDown, going over to the UK. You got in the Imperium that's been causing trouble, jumping on heavy machinery. So the Imperium NXT UK guys are getting in on the act, and then you got. Shayna Baszler once again jumping on Bailey and Sasha Banks. So, what does this mean exactly? NXT's not playing around. Uh, speaking of which, I like I said, I will make my uh, predict picks predictions for NXT War Games and Survivor Series. Can't wait! It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, am I doing any more Get These Thumbs episodes? Yes, I will. More from the Sega Saturn, definitely. Another funny thing is, I I almost didn't, I almost canceled out on that because I was trying to find the uh, action replay that I bought online. That the action replay is key because you can play your Japanese games in American American Sega Saturn, which I did. 
And then the next thing I had to do is try to connect my HDMI cables to the TV. And so I can connect my Sega Saturn. Done that. It was great. You saw it already. You saw, if you haven't seen the episode, episode on last episode, that's what I did. You guys enjoy. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I got seven views on it already. I got one like on it. No dislikes. That's good. Maybe, maybe I blocked all the trolls from seeing my videos. I don't know, but um, whatever. Uh, you know, speaking of which, you know, I know I've been doing addressing a lot of internet trolls. I just want to explain to you guys something. I don't hate those internet trolls. I don't hate them at all. The reason why I blocked them is to prevent um, all their venom they've been spewing out, all the garbage they've been spewing out comment-wise from affecting, you know, you cannot let pe toxic people control you and, con and, and control the way you and control your thoughts and control everyone else the wh what they think about you. That's the one, one reason, number one reason why I do block out the internet trolls because their toxic words can change a person's view about me and that could hurt me in the long run, and I don't want that to happen. It's not, I'm not a coward. It's not, I don't like it. I just don't like it, period. I just hate it, period. I hate people. I hate it when people talk about uh, and when people put their venom and their venomous words, their dead words, their words of death and negative words, negative energy. I'm trying to block out all the negative and take in the positive. And that's the main thing, right? You know, I don't care if it's constructive criticism. I know there's a whole lot of bunk um, about that because, you know, because you're not my, because you're you 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 know not uh, somebody. They're not somebody that I know, and um, and I don't know these people from a hole in the wall. You know, unless it's the real people and they're talking to me, I can't trust them at all. So it's like, yeah. So um, so that would really um, so that's uh, something to um. Uh, something to, to consider going in there. So it will be something to, um, yeah, something to stew about. As you know, we got one more month left. One month left of the decade of 2010s. As you know, 2019, next year will be 2020. And I've given this a lot of thought. And I think 2020 would be a year of change for me. There's a lot of things I'm going to need me going to have to change, and a job could be one of them. And uh, the job could be one of them because I think, uh, you know, I felt in my heart, you know, you know, I don't want to say something bad's going to happen or something like that. It's something that you know I'm probably going to give it. Cause I'm going to pray about this, ask God for wisdom, and see what uh, if uh, my my instincts were right. You know, because I have, I have a hunch. That something is going to happen next year to the point where I may have to quit that job and move on. Um, maybe something good is, is going to come up and say, you know, and say, hey, you can leave that job and go for a new one, um, or something like that. I can, I get a weird feeling something's going to happen next year to the point where it may prompt me to uh, quit quit that job at the mall and move on from the mall finally. I mean, it has not been very easy looking for another job, but um, we'll see. Uh, something's going to happen. I just got to uh, keep um, play things by ear and see what happens, but uh, until then, I'm going to stand my ground and, you know, whatever, you know. You know, sometimes, you know, life is not the way we want it. And, you know, life is ne life's never been the way we want it. And simple thing, we fantasize about whatever we want, but it never happens, you know. It's all like, you know, like, you know, you know. I I think it. Uh, I think it was one year that I wanted uh, the game of Mortal Kombat for the Game Boy, and just for the Game Boy, because uh, I didn't want, because I didn't, because there was no, I didn't have any other systems that would, because I don't have a Sega Genesis, and I don't have a Super NES, so I was like, I can't get those, and I just wanted Mortal Kombat for the Game Boy, because it's a little different, less graphic that way. My, but my parents ended up getting me uh, biblical games. In the meantime, this was, this was years ago. But now it's like you know I can play Mortal Kombat whenever you know. It's crazy. Um, you know, it's it's what it's it's been really tough. It's been really tough. These, 
you know, it's been it's been over a year. Like I said, it's been a year since I talked with my sister Cora and my brother-in-law Brandon, and I hope they're doing hope they're doing good. I hope they. I pray that they're doing good. Um, I kind of miss them being around us, and uh, you know, it but it has been bothering me for the last few uh, months, like over over the past year, it has been bothering me, and you know. When a tragedy affects you, affects you, family is, is some is some is, are are people that you can run to, and, or if your family, or you need family and friends, or your family of your own to run to, and to be with, and say, hey, listen, I'm going through this right now. I need your support. That's what family is all about. It doesn't have to be doesn't have necessarily to be blood family. It could be friends and all that. My Ultimate concern. Uh, my ultimate concern for Cora and Brandon is that do they have any family that they can run to? Because to me, this is my opinion. If a tragedy happens in your life, running away from your family, or turning it back in your family and your friends and cutting people out of your life is not going to help you heal. Um. Uh, I, mean, I can understand if you're totally, totally angry, but cutting people out of your lives won't solve it. It'll make things worse for you, trust me. Because down the road, you're going to realize that, that hey, you know, I don't have anybody to run to. You know, you're going to realize that in the back of your mind, you're going to think, hey, I don't have anybody to run to. I cut all these people out of my life for what, you know? That's why, to me, I don't do that anymore. I, I, when I was going through things back in 1995, and when I, you know, trying to adjust to a new home, trying to, uh, you know, adjust for a job, and then adjust to, you know, what what was going on, including yes, the Paulette situation. And all I ran away from home like twice, and I was because I was struggling to try to deal with everything. And I remember the first time I ran away from home. I mean, I ran, you know, I even went down 140. I, you know, I walked in 140 because I was, you know, I ran off and I was, it, it was, this was back in 1995, I was struggling with everything going on, you know, I'm trying to adjust to a job and everything else and I've been going through a lot. But nowadays I've been very, very thankful that my parents loved me and cared about me to the point where um, they made sure that, I, you know, they made sure I stayed around. And they, you know, they don't want me getting hurt. They don't want me hurting myself. And you know, so, and there were a couple of times that I, 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 there were a couple of times I thought of suicide. And this, you know, this is no joke. You know, and yeah, it worries me a lot. You know, I, I said a couple of times I wanted to kill myself, and my, my parents were not very happy to hear me say that. You know, I was, I was struggling with a lot, and this was back in the day. But now, you know, I've learned from that situation. I've learned from every situation back then. And I'm very, very thankful for, for the life I have now. Despite the fact that, there, yeah, there are a few tough, things, too, few tough things going on. But you know what? I'm still hanging in there. I'm still trying to, you know, push forward and, you know, work hard and, you know, and keep praying and just never give up. You know, that's the mantra, you know, it's not just a catchphrase that John Cena uses. It's a phrase that... It has to be instilled not only in our brains, but in our hearts. Never give up. Don't quit. Whatever you do, don't walk out. Don't turn your back on your family and friends. You know, that's the thing. It will not heal you. It makes you a worse person. It makes you more miserable. And I felt like you know, when my sister Cora did that, you know, decided not to talk, talk to our family since October of last year, my heart kind of broke, and I was kind of disappointed. I used, I get, I used to get along with her. I got along with my brother-in-law Brandon, and you know what? And what? And it hurt. It kind of hurt inside. You know, I wanted to cry because you know, I didn't. We didn't do anything wrong to them. You know, she's been. Well, my sister was helping out my family so much when we we're going up, and and my parents wanted to help her back as a reward, and. And for her to basically turn her back to us, to to our family, 
and resent our family and be angry at our family, not wanting to have anything to do with us anymore. To me, I was, I'm was i kind of hurt, and I felt like she turned her back on our family. I never wanted to talk about this, but but I felt like, you know, I was, I was hurt by that. You know, I was angry. It's like, to me, running away from your problems, running away from your family and friends and cutting people out of your, cutting your own family out of your life, cutting people that would be a positive influence in your life and cutting them out isn't going to help solve the problems in your life. It's going, it's going to make things worse. You need people like them in your life, and they, they love you. You know, and that's what I felt. I felt in my heart that my parents and my family loves me. And that's why I stayed with them. And I have friends and, I have friends and relatives in my life that love me. That love me for who I am. You know, and when I deal with these internet trolls, they don't know me from a hole in a wall. And they, they insult me. Why? They judge me from the background I use. They judge me from where I live. They judge me by the way I look. It's like, you don't know jack squat about me at all, Internet trolls. You don't know crap that I've gone through my entire life. You don't know. You don't understand. I think all these Internet trolls but nothing but a bunch of millennial punks who don't understand the way I grew up. And if you're living a miserable life, you need to check in the mirror and look at yourself in the mirror and, act and, tell, and ask yourself why you're acting mean to other people that you don't know. All right? You want to be, you want to be selfish, Brad, and say, oh, I, this guy's happy. I'm going to make his life miserable. Then something wrong with you. All right? My intentions on this YouTube channel is to make everybody laugh and to inspire people and just make people smile and help everyone relax. From time and time again, I get disrespected by these internet trolls and it's like, come on, you get a life. Wake up, smell the coffee. Wake up to reality. If you're not going to respect others, they won't respect you. And if you're going through problems in your life, taking your anger out on your family or complete strangers or even, you know, friends, you know, or basically cutting them out of your life as well, it's not going to help you heal. It's going gonna, it's gonna to feel worse. It's going to make you feel worse, man. Believe me, I know. People, there's people that have cut me out of their lives. Friends that cut me out of their lives. Yeah, I'm a little hurt about that. And I'm still, you know, I am a little bit hurt. If they don't want me to talk to them and they don't want to talk to me, that's fine. I can deal with that. You know, like I said, it isn't easy. You know, one day I want to be friends with them again. I still, I still going to like them. I'm not going to hate them. You know, I have to admit, I am a little hurt, a little upset about that. But I'm not going to... Life's too short to hold a grudge. You have a grudge against somebody, go out, to, go out to them and say, Hey, listen, I think we should squash this. I think we should be friends again and move on. We'll be good friends and ask each other how we're doing, you know. I don't mind that. If so, If somebody came up to me and apologized to me, I'd be more than happy to forgive them. You know, yeah, I block internet trolls because they don't know about my life. And for them to spread the venom and, you know, to, to, tra to trash things I like, that's not cool, man. It doesn't help you. It does not help you, internet trolls. Listen to me. It does not help you to bash others because, and you don't know them. You don't know them. All right, so you figured you judge you judge them by the looks and everything else. You need to get real. You need to get real and shut up and real and, and start looking at yourself. Start searching your own souls. Start looking in the mirror and say, 
I cannot criticize and say to yourselves, I'm not criticizing people until I get my life straightened out. Because what you're doing is you're living a miserable life and miser having a miserable attitude and get taken out on those who don't know you from a home wall and trying to make them feel miserable. Me, personally, I'm trying to help encourage others. I'm trying to help motivate others. My life is not perfect. And never has been. Never will be. Listen, my life ain't all sunshines, rainbows, puppies, and unicorns. Or, or having a mariachi band or something. You know? I'm just here trying to live my life the best way I know how. Things are going to happen, but that's okay. I'll try, you know. Sometimes when plan A don't work, I've always been a plan B kind of guy. You know what I'm saying? Life ain't easy, folks. And you know what, though? Feel encouraged. I'm encouraging you guys. Don't worry. Like I always said at the end of my videos, when life deals you a bad hand, you change your cards, man. Change your cards. Listen, I had a very rough couple of months. I mean, my exhaust let go. Then finally got that fixed in the first weekend of November. Then my muffler let go. Then I managed to got, get that fixed as well. My muffler let go last week. This week they got it fixed. Praise the Lord. Well, I'm just very happy. I'm just very happy right now. I have a good family. I got sisters who care. I got brothers who care. I got parents who care. I have a job. Although not the best looking, best job in the whole world. Well, it's a job nonetheless. There's a lot going on there. Is that a lot of things have been happening? Is I feel like pressing my heart to talk about. It. I'm not bashing anybody. I just want to let you know, let everybody know out there. Sometimes, yeah, a tragedy happens in your life. Don't turn your back on the. Don't cut out the people in your life that could help you and love you, and be there for you. Because that's going to help. Because that's not going to help. Cutting people out of your lives because of a tragedy happening, that that could make things worse for you. You know, I'm, I may not, that may not be it. If, if you're going through something that I don't know about, if you're going through something that you don't want to disclose, listen, cutting people out of your lives is not going to help. It's not going to make everything better. It's going to make everything worse. It's very important and vital that you have people in your life, in your lives, to have family, friends, even the Lord himself will help you if you believe in him I believe in him I've been believing in him since 1984 technically 85 I've been like I said it's amazing I've been at my church for 35 years it's amazing what God has done in my life and I continue to praise God for it all I can say is this like I said Things happen. Tragedies happen. But being angry about it and cutting people out of your lives is not going to make, the, make, make, everything, make all, everything negative go away. It's going to make things worse. It's very important. You have people, you surround yourself with good people. Good people will help you. Trust me on this one. I know. And that meant for the good people in my life, I wouldn't be doing this. I wouldn't be inspired. There's good people in my life that inspire me. To do something like this. And I praise God for them. All right. I better get going. Three minutes. Monday Night Raw is on. Uh, that's all the time we have on the show. God's blessings. Life, love, and light to all of you. Catch on the flip side. Pay attention. You might learn something. We cannot change the past, but we can change our current situations to work for a better future. And remember, kids, when life deals you a bad hand, you change your cards. All right. I'll see you guys later. Episode 391 is out. I'll see you in episode 392. Holiday season rolls on. Peace.